Okay, good morning. Hello, Ria here from Maisie Moo. Now, jumping on on a Saturday, which is unusual for me, so you may find there's a little bit of background noise because there's an awful lot happening in the house. But I know you wanted me to finish and get this loaded as fast as possible. What great feedback I've had on this wee bag. Still not haven't given it a name yet, but it is like a little shopping or a little tote bag. Um, what you've got is snap closures on the handles, which means you can actually close your bag. It's been sewn, so it's an easy stitch, but a little bit different than normal because it's, it's a hidden stitch. You're going to turn it inside out, and I'll show you how. As well as that, you're also going to be shown how to make these handles. Really quite effective. It's, it's not a bad um, size. It is made from one piece of A4 faux leather and you've got enough to get um, your main body piece, which we've got here, out of it. Uh, you've got an extra few um, bits and pieces for the bow. That is a little charm. And um, we've used just some coordinating faux for the straps. So let's get started. Now because it's easy stitch uh, you will be needing a needle and I like a nice big needle with a large eye. It's got quite a blunt end which is perfect for pressing through any of the holes that um, you may have missed. Um, so what we'll do is let's get started on the main body. Nice generous length of um, floss. I'm using embroidery floss but you can use wax cord. Now we're going to start inside out with this design. So you're going to be sewing all the way up the side and coming back down again. Start with a big knot so it doesn't pull through like you're probably sick of hearing me say um, on a lot of my uh, tutorials. Add a little dot of glue which really does hold everything together so if you pop a little bit of hot glue there or super glue it'll just mean that it won't pull through so what I'm going to do here is sew all the way up and come back down now I've chosen to sew in the blue which is a similar color to the faux leather um, because you will slightly see a stitch it's up to you you might not mind it being contrast but I want it to sort of flow with the actual just the solid color of this bag so I'm going to go up and I'll come back okay so I've gone all the way to the top and I've come back down and you can see I've just got the last few stitches here so we'll go through back through where the knot is Back through the same hole you see that and then what we're going to do is we are wanting to pinch your bag flat now you see we've got these holes here and the holes at, on the top there all line up so I'm going to go through go we're going to pass out thread through and I'm going to work this way. Now when you get to the corner I'm going to wind it around the edge like this so that it's here we go just encircling the edge like that. Can you see that? And then so back along through where I haven't already been so that's the idea you want to sew where you haven't sewn before pop those stitches in there now I'm going to go through again through where the knot is there we go so you'll go through that hole a couple of times but you'll need to do that just to keep everything together right I'm on the other side I'm going to wind around the edge Here we go, so nice and tight, we've sewn along and back and now this is the important part, you want to make sure you tie this off nice and tightly, so you want to make sure you've got a good, a good knot, now you want the knot to be inside the bag, 
not on the outside so when that you turn it around you see it you don't want to do that so I'm going to pass that through and then make a loop tie it tight and one more time whoops just loosen that off there we go and we'll trim that and as I said maybe a little dot of glue I won't do it now because it will stick everything together just a little dot of glue to hold all of your knots and your thread in place and now what you're going to do is you're going to jump to the other side and do exactly what I've done there so I'll I'll just skip ahead and then we'll come back okay so you can see I've sewn up both sides you've got your stitches along the bottom now what we're going to do is we just want to gently turn this inside out. So as I say, you really do want to be gentle with your stitches. You might want to use a, choosing a finger. There we go. Just something soft. This is where good quality faux leather comes into play. This isn't going to work with some of the cheap stuff that you get from AliExpress or you might get from you know, your local craft stores. This is from um, oh, this is from Joliffe in the UK. I know that polka dot peach is very similar quality. It cuts really well with the easy stitch. Um, there we go. So you can see we're getting the bag shape coming together. Now let's jump on to the handles. Now these are fun. These took me heaps of practice um, to work out the easiest way to sort of get the look of, uh, of the round handle um, without sort of making them too hard. So anyway, let's jump into it. Again, the first thing you want to do is start from behind. I'm using pink. Now, I am going to put a dot of blue on this. Now, do not laugh at my ginormous <laughs> glue gun. The kids, my girls, used all my small glue sticks, and all I had were glue sticks for this massive one. Look at it, these big glue sticks. So, I'm going to stick that down. Oh, and my finger. Now, this will be hidden inside, but I just want to do this so that it doesn't sort of travel down and you see it. Okay, so we've stuck that on. Got your knot stuck down with a little bit of um, your hot glue. And we're going to get stitching. So the idea is, is you're going to keep this pinched together so that your holes are aligned. Okay, so it's got, it looks a bit like a snake. And we're just going to just sew... We want to go around like this, so let's do the first couple to show you what I mean. Okay, so see how it's, it's helping me pinch that together? I'm going to go back through that hole. Now, your stitches will be on an angle. Right, keep on stitching, and you'll find as you're stitching, it's, um, there we go. This will all start to twist, but I'll show you at the end when you get to the end how just a little bit of a play with it will tidy things up. So I'm going to just continue along. There we go. Keeping them all neat and tidy, nice and tight, so that you're making a nice strip. There we go. Okay, so you can see here, I've can't, we've, we've sewn all the way along, right to the end. I've got one more hole left, so I'm going to bring my thread through there. Now, I'm going to, to tie this off, I'm going to grab my needle and just pass it. So I'm going to go three along and come, come up. Go. So I'm pulling that out and then I'm going to go over and then back again. So there will be one stitch there. There we go. Coming back through. 
and then out again. So what it should do is it's going to create just a little knot internally and then that way it shouldn't come undone if you're wanting to. Trim that, just tuck that down. And a little bit of hot glue up there. Now because I have the biggest glue gun in the world, I'm going to just use something pokey. Here you go. Alrighty, so I've just got the end of a little metal rod there and I'm just going to pinch that. There we go. So that's just going to hold that. Now, like I said, you're going to have this twist. So, all you need to do is just sort of roll the little tube you've made between your thumb and fingers and you can see how it starts to sort of come in line. It doesn't take much. And there we have it. You've got your strap. So how we attach this is simply with snaps. Now most of you will have snaps if you make my, you know my creations and let's have a look what colour. I have blues here so I'm gonna go I think I'll just go with light blue so that it ties in. Yeah, so you'll need four snaps for this design. I've just done the one strap for now. I can do the other one later. You want to make sure you've got the same sizes. So okay, so what you do you'll do is you pop your snap on this way like that. You've got your little handle. And something to think about, which is what I did with this bag here, was I attached a little ring underneath. Okay, so here we go. I've put those steps, both those snaps on. You can see you've got on the inside there. Still got to do the other side. I've also got your... Um, the, the split ring which I've attached and as I did with the other one if you this is about an inch this split ring I just sort of maneuvered it so that it's set underneath you can't actually see it so when you make your bow then you can just clip it on so let's make the bow super simple so you're wanting to just stick your center pieces Always make sure that you you don't um, fold too far forward and that you see the back. I'll just quickly glue those. Okay, so you've stacked your two pieces on top of each other. What you want to do is get your longer strap piece, and we're going to glue that to the back, nice and centered. Okay. And we're going to come back up and around, and I'm just going to put my little split ring in like that okay and then what we're going to do is just glue the back down before we do that we want to just insert the tail so I'm going to glue the tail in there now And then this is going to be glued on top, so that's going to hold it down. Okay, and then all you simply do is trim that.
Right here, and then that just gets attached to your hidden wee ring there. Okay, so I will go ahead now and make the other strip, but that should give you the basics of how to sew the bag together um, and to make your wee charm that goes on there. Plenty of glue on that to hold it all together. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with with this design. Thank you so much for watching this far if you have.